Okay, everybody, here are some scientific method scenarios I'd like you to explore. Feel free to use your class notes as you go through these problems. Here we go. Scenario number one, 50 runners volunteer to test a new sports drink that promises to hydrate better than water. The volunteers are asked to run 20 miles while hydrating with water. A week later, they return to run another 20 miles, hydrating with the sports drink. The time taken to complete the runs are recorded. Answer the four questions. All right, for part A, what is the control group? Well, the control group, again, what's the normal condition? In this case, hydrating with water is the normal condition. The experimental group is what's being manipulated, what's different, and in this case, runners when drinking the sports drink. Letter C, the independent variable. Again, an independent variable is what's different between the two test groups here. Well, one's drinking water and one's drinking sports drink. So the difference is the type of beverage. And then part D, the dependent variable. The dependent variable is what data is being collected. In this case, the data being collected is the time taken to complete the runs. Let's try another scenario. Okay, scenario number two. Does increased protein in our diet aid our ability to solve problems? 100 people are fed traditional healthy meals over the course of one month. Another group of 100 people are fed healthy meals with double the amounts of protein for one month. After one month, both groups of people are tested to solve reasoning and logic puzzles. Answer the four questions. So question A, what is the control group? Again, a control group is what is the normal conditions? In this case, it's the people that are fed the traditional meals. Part B, what is the manipulated or the, experimented, the experimental group? What's manipulated is that they, the 100 people are fed double the amount of protein. Part C, the independent variable. Again, independent variables, how do these two groups differ? Well, one's fed traditional meals and one is fed meals with double the amount of protein. So the independent variable is the type of food, the type of meals that they are provided. And then part D, the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the data being measured. What are we measuring is their ability to solve these logic and reasoning puzzles. Here's another scenario. Well, plants grow better when exposed to classical music. Both area A and area B are filled with seeds. The seeds in both areas are equally watered and have access to equal amounts of sunlight. Both areas are kept at the same temperature. The only difference is the seeds of area A are exposed to classical music, while area B is kept silent. After one season, the plants of area A averaged 20% extra growth. Answer the four questions. Okay, part A, what is the control group? I hope you said that's the area, uh, the plants of area B, those not exposed to music. Part B, what is the experimental group? Again, those are the plants of area A, the plants that were exposed to music. Part C, what is the independent variable? How do these two groups differ? Well, one's given music and one isn't. So the independent variable is the exposure or the presence of music. Part D, the dependent variable, Again, that's the data being measured. In this case is the amount of growth. I hope you found this review to be helpful. Uh, we'll talk about this in class.